Cancer, welcome and welcome back. This is gonna be a, um, a weekly reflection for you. All right, um, so we're gonna take a look at what you experienced this past week, whether you know it or you don't. I feel like a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of what's gonna come out here is are things that you didn't notice or recognize or that you don't know of for some reason. All right, um, and then we'll take a look at what lesson you were meant to learn. Yeah, okay, through all of this. I feel like you guys weren't paying attention this past week, okay? And, you know, maybe maybe just generally speaking, not paying attention to what was going on around you, or, like, if you're a student, you weren't paying attention in class, or you weren't paying attention to something that you were supposed to be um, uh, paying attention to so that you could learn something, all right? I also feel like there's some fear, okay? Someone, someone is really super... Okay, I was gonna say superstitious, but superficial is coming through as well. So there's some sense of both. Okay. All right, what's what's going on here? That was the magician. All right, Cancer, please. There's also something really significant about like uh, measurements. Okay, so maybe you were doing some measurements, or you do something with measurements, or um, uh, something like that, or you need to measure something. Okay. I don't know what that's about. All right. The lovers. Okay, so we have a significant relationship showing up here. This deck has four different lovers cards. Okay. This one for me typically speaks about a new relationship. So there's someone new here or 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 um uh, going to a new level with someone, but there there is something that you don't see. There's something that you don't see about this person. Ten of Wands. Wow. There's something that you don't see about this person, yeah. Okay. So some of you may be blinded by love, blinded by a relationship, or or someone has yeah the magician. All right, someone has you under a spell. Okay, or someone not not literally, but it could be someone has you like like wrapped up. All right, I feel like this person has your attention, and you're missing something else, or um, whether you're missing something outside of them, or you're missing something about that person. If someone your your focus is like googly eyed, rose colored glasses kind of thing. Okay, you're missing something. There's something that you're missing. All right, what else? The Hermit. Yeah, you're missing something. Interesting. But the Hermit is someone who's usually trying to figure it out or trying to find something. There may be some sense of loneliness here. Someone may feel lonely or left out. Someone feels left out. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Someone feels left out. What does that have to do with anything? The Temperance and the Eight of Wands with the Seven of Swords. What is this? This could be the person who who you're not paying. I'm also hearing doorstep, okay? Something about a doorstep or someone feels like a doorstep or doormat. All right, what is, what is this, please? Who is this hermit? Because I, I feel like this is a different person. Someone's trying to tell you something or trying to show you something. This could be someone like outside of your relationship who is urging or, or, or trying to point something out. And it could also be someone who has passed on or someone, you know, external to your rela relationship. The hermit is, it, it can represent a spiritual guide or advisor. All right, something like that. I feel like someone is trying to show you something about your relate, about some significant relationship here, but you're unable to see it. Okay. Five of Cups. Yeah, someone's upset or someone feels isolated and lonely. 
okay or you 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 may see this person as as an individual who is like just trying to create unnecessary drama in within your relationship like no they just want they just want me back or they just want me all to themselves i mean and maybe that's true i don't know okay but the five of cups yeah whoever this is they 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 feel this person has regrets yeah the wheel of fate and the king of coins with the world so this may be a karmic relationship or someone from your past i feel like this person wants your attention yeah three of cups so this may be a friend all right what else went on for cancer this past week can you tell me more about this relationship what they're what they're missing here i mean besides like I, there is something that some someone's not being honest about some part of them all right is what i feel what is it three of cups i the three of cups i mean it, it doesn't necessarily represent but i feel like someone's not being honest about the fact that they don't have that they that they have children like whether or not they have children all right that's coming out but the three of cups is is i mean it can represent someone who's already in a relationship or or um yeah i don't like how this looks in the towers here um this three of cups always freaks me out because you can see that there's a masculine energy in the in the center there there's two feminine energies on either side of him but there's one feminine energy who's like looking all creepily directly at him and the other one does not see all right i feel like you know and maybe this is somebody's ex or somebody's friend or somebody's sibling or a child there's something that you're not seeing there's another person here that you're not seeing all right, it may be someone within your relationship or again, someone outside of your relationship who's trying to tell you something about that person, okay? I feel like, and, and again, if, 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 you know, I feel like to you, it feels like, oh, this person's just trying to cause trouble or they just wanna gossip, but there, there is something about this that's factual, all right? Yeah, the tower and the 10 of swords and the 10 of wands. All right, let's look at your lesson. What's the lesson here that Cancer was meant to learn, please? So you had a pretty significant week, okay? You had a pretty significant week. I do feel like there was some kind of disappointing news, but a lot of you are not paying attention to it or you, or you did not. It's like not wanting to believe something, honestly. All right, what was the lesson here, please? Maybe like a friends with benefits situation is what I'm um, hearing. The tower, wow. So the tower, it represents a false sense of security. That, that basically means when we're in a situation where we are um, just going with the flow or pretending things are okay or we think things are okay, but the universe steps in like, no, hello, it's not okay. There's something about it that's not okay. And so th this is a, um, it's a destruction of, of, of a um, foundation. Now that foundation can be a relationship. It can be a job. It can be your home. It can be your vehicle. There, are, there is something really significant about your vehicle this past week or, or maybe even this week coming up. All right. I'm also hearing all that glitters isn't gold. There's something here that you're not seeing cancer. What's at the bottom? Yeah. The page of swords. Okay. There's some kind of gossip or, or something that I'm hearing tedious as well. Something that feels like gossip or like like games, like elementary school games in particular, that, 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 but that there's actually factual information within this, okay? Um, that's what I have for you guys, okay? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.